Hello everyone, this is Bam Dele from Dilaris Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at how to integrate the Google Analytics into your Android application. That means how to keep track of uh, traffic on your application. Which is, we'll be looking specifically at the mobile application. Uh, for you to be able to do that successfully, uh, you have to first of all have a Google Analytics uh, account uh, from Google. Uh, you will log into the googleanalytics.com. Uh, you register with your Google uh, email address. You know, because Google has a sort of sign, sign in, which is a unique sign in for all our uh, Google application, both Gmail, Google AdSense, uh, YouTube, Google Analytics, uh, Google AdWords. Uh, you only use your, G uh, your email, as your email ID to sign in into this platform. So for you to be able to use Google Analytics, you must have uh, a Gmail account. Okay, after you might have done that, you move to the Google, uh, uh, the analytics.google.com and you have this kind of uh, interface. Whereby you have the home, the reporting, the customization and the admin. You move straight to the admin, definitely if you are still fresh in this, you won't have any, any account running. You have to set up this, you have to create a new uh, account or you have to create a new platform. I've actually done that. I have up to like uh, three to four uh, platforms running, you know. Okay, let me go to my home for you to see what I'm actually talking about. I have uh, the Direct Studios channel, Library, Sunday, Sunday, Soccer, the Light. I have up to five uh, accounts or Google Analytics accounts running in the platform. Okay, I need to customize or I need to create a new one. For this particular uh, application, so that we'll be able to keep track of our mobile uh, uh, of our mobile session using the Google Analytics. Okay, I move to my admin. You click on the admin. Okay, you have this kind of interface. So I'm going to create a new one. You know, I'm actually sending the Larry Studios because I've had uh, previous accounts there. So I have to create a new account. You come over to this session. You click on your create new account okay uh what would you like to track i'll keep track of my of an a mobile application okay i click on mobile app instead of the website okay i have to give this account a name just like the way you saw the direct studios i have to give this a unique name now so i can call it uh let me call it traffic there. call it traffic mobile traffic mobile traffic okay uh, i have to give the app a name let me call it uh, uh analytics integration okay analytics integration I have to select kind of industry the um, my application is actually focused on. Uh, let me just speak um jobs and education. Okay. Uh, there's a reporting time zone, which I'll leave it at United States. Okay, no problem. I have to get my tracking ID. This tracking ID is very, very important because we have to use this ID in the course of the application. There will be a session. Where we need to include this track, this tracking ID. Okay, click on my get tracking ID. Let's get the tracking ID. So, okay, I have to accept the terms and condition of Google Analytics. Okay, I have to accept this. Right, my account is going to be created, and I'm going to have a tracking ID. Okay, it's actually saying iOS. Okay, success. That's fine. Let me scroll up. Okay, can you see it? From here, you can even download the SDK, the Google Analytics Android SDK, and even the Google Analytics plugin for Unity and for iOS. Okay, all right, this is the tracking ID, very important. Can you see the tracking ID? All right, this is what I will actually use to incorporate in the course of the application. Okay, we'll be moving straight to my Android Studio. I'm going to show you the, uh, the, the coding aspect of this application. This is the first step. You get your tracking ID ready and you move straight 
to the development process. All right. Okay. We we'll generated the tracking ID and we're moving straight to the development environment. Okay. I'll go through the layout of the application. It's a relative layout with the layout height match parent, the padding right, spin DP. We're just trying to create a button here in the center of the UI. Whereby we have a button and the click event is the name of the text written on the button. The ID is button. Okay. Right. So we're going to attach the traffic, uh, uh, link to the button click so that in each button click is going to generate a sort of like, uh, uh, a visit to the particular uh, application. So our, our analytics will be, will be coded around the, the button into the query site. So uh, that takes us to the Java classes. We have two Java classes here, the main activity and the analytics activity. Let's first of all check out the My Analytics. Okay. Uh, this extends application and has a, a field of property ID. This property ID is actually going to call on the tracking ID, which I have actually copied from the tracking ID over here. Okay. All right. Into the property ID, we have the general tracker, which is placed at zero. We have the app. The Tracker name is an enum. That's enumeration uh, uh, type data type of uh, method. So the tracker used only this app, and the tracker used by all the apps from the company is trying to roll up tracking. Okay, we can also have the sort of e-commerce tracker. Okay, we have an a hash a hash map, which actually is a generic taking into consideration the tracker name and the tracker. Okay. We have to instantiate it with a new keyword hash map. We have the my analytics method calling on the super my, my analytics. This is like a, a constructor you know, of the class my analytics. Okay. Uh, we have the public synchronized tracker. You know, we call it the method called get tracker. You know, it actually takes on to the tracker ID, you know, keeping tag of the, of the ID of the tracker. Okay. It contains the key. Uh, if not M trackers, you know, if the, if the M trackers doesn't contain a key, that's just what this is talk, talking about. The Google Analytics is going to get the instance. I also pass the tracker, which is the T, calling on the, the tracker name, you know, the tracker property, uh, the global tracker, and also, uh, the analytics XML global tracker and the e-commerce tracker, if there is any. Okay. And also return the M tracker. All right. Uh, this is just, uh, being, uh, gotten from the Android, uh, uh, let's say the Google, uh, version of integrating, of integrating, uh, Android to the application. Now we have the main activity that actually calls on the content view, you know. We're going to set a layout to activity name and uh there is a tracker called t you know this t is actually going to call on the analytics we're going to get an application method and get the tracker the end analytics and also the tracker name with the app tracker so this t is going to set the home screen name of the application form and we're going to send the new okay the t is going to send and also Instantiate the new each builders with the app view builder. Okay, these are all uh, uh, default uh, uh, methods from the import we actually made. You know, I think as I talked about the import, where we actually imported the Android GMS analytics, Google analytics, and the each builders, and also the analytics tracker. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Now, on the blog button, to be precise, we actually set an on-click listener to the button I talked about. That button is actually going to drive in the traffic, which is going to set to the category of the clicks, set the action of the button, and set the label for the click. Okay? Uh, without much uh, ado, this is just a simple application, and the integration is quite easy and simple. I'd like you to get your hands to the source code, and also use it while in the course of the application. Let me launch this to my journey motion emulator for you to see how the application looks. And at the same time, I will show you uh, the panel, the dashboard panel of 
this uh, video analytics integration. Okay. Uh, let me bring you my journey motion to foreground. All right. Okay. You can see the welcome screen as analytics integration. Welcome to Google Analytics integration. So a click on the button will actually pull up the traffic. Okay. That's just the essence of the application. The analytics is tied into the click to this button, rather, which we actually had an on click mission to the button. So you can actually do this to the introduction page. Like in every uh, start of the application, uh, the, uh, the tracking continues or the tracking keyboards of each launch of the application. We actually instantiated it and wrap it up inside the click of this event button. Okay, without much uh, ado, I hope you actually pick one or two things from this uh, tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.